So I got a new drone. It's called the Skydio 2 Plus that I'm gonna test out here in the backyard today. Uh, three main reasons why I got this particular drone. One, it can record in 4K60 with no crop. Gotta have that. Two, it's got sensors all over the place to help keep it from crashing. Some of the best obstacle avoidance on the market. And then three, it's got this feature in the app called keyframes, key, keyframe programming. So you basically program the drone to fly where you want it to, give it the, make the flight path the way you want it, and then it follows it. And you just sit back and watch it, it just flies itself. So we're gonna test that out today in this close, these close quarters here in the backyard. So there's not a lot of room for it to, to move around here. So we'll see if it's gonna hit anything and how well it follows this path that I programmed for it. So, flight path. I'm gonna take the drone up about 30 feet up here. Start there. And it's gonna come fly through the backyard. Go over the fence. Come around here, then go over the pool. And then up over the house. And then come swooping down. And end up right here in front of the swing. I'll be on the swing, so it'll stop right about here. So we'll start here, keep rain, then we're going to go up a little higher, and then we'll point down, okay, add a keyframe, that's where we'll start, and we're going to come forward, down here, right about like that. Yep, looks good. We'll add a keyframe right there. Okay, bring it forward. All right, lower it. Okay, add a keyframe right about there looks good i'm going to speed it up a little bit but i just keep adding keyframes about every 20 feet or so take your time when doing this there's no rush if you have a fully charged battery now not only can you position the drone where you want it for each keyframe but you can also position the gimbal for the camera exactly where you want it as well The weather is a little gloomy today. Footage probably would have turned out a little better on a nicer day, but oh well. But I want you to take note of how smooth the footage is that you're gonna see here in a minute. Even though the drone camera is no full frame mirrorless camera or anything, I found the fluidity of it all to be rather amazing. The pinkish purple line that you see is a graphic representation of the flight path in real time as you're programming it. And those white diamond shapes are the keyframes. But yeah, folks, the keyframing feature of this drone is really a game changer and opens up lots of creative possibilities. This is perfect for people that aren't necessarily into flying drones for fun but they want to use a drone to get a cinematic shot. So I used a total of 15 keyframes for the design of this flight path. Here we go. All right, let's see what it does. <laughs> 